In 1615, English courts began to send prisoners to the American colonies in as a way of alleviating England's large criminal population. Many British prisoners traveled to their destination on uncomfortable, rat-infested cargo ships. Sometimes converted from slave trading ships, the 100-plus transport vessels carried up to 300 prisoners, in appalling conditions. Prisoners who survived the horrendous passage were cleaned. Then they were advertised in newspapers and sold, with men priced at up to 20 British pounds and women up to 9 pounds. The human cargo trade made fortunes for those involved on both sides of the Atlantic. Traded females usually worked in the homes of tobacco plantation masters. Their male counterparts mainly worked on the plantations or did other manual labor. The success of the colony depended on the labor of British prisoners swept from the streets of British cities.